Hey everyone, Itai Manero here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint this turtle with pastels in Procreate. So let's jump right into it. This is a three-part series, where each week I'm using a different technique. In the previous two weeks I painted this turtle with watercolors, and with oils, using Procreate. You can find the links to those videos in the description below. In today's tutorial, we are going to be painting the same subject with pastels in Procreate. In order to achieve this, I'm going to be using my new bundle called the Fine Art Mega Bundle for Procreate. This awesome package contains the watercolor experience, the thick paint, and the epic pastels brush sets for Procreate. And it will save you 33% over the total price if you would get these three sets individually. If you're only interested on the pastel brushes, you can also get my epic pastels brush set individually, or even download a free mini version for you to try out. You can find the link in the top right corner of this video, or in the description below. For all three of these paintings, I'm using this incredible photo reference by Wexer TMG. I will leave a link in the description as well, in case you want to follow along. The first step is to import one of the included pastel paper textures into our canvas. When painting with real pastels in traditional media, the color you choose for your paper tends to be the one that is more predominant or takes up more space in the subject you are going to paint. This is because it will save you from having to cover up the whole background with pastels and your fingers, which can be exhausting. When mimicking pastels in digital, it's important to follow a similar process to get realistic results. That's why I'm choosing a blue paper. This paper texture needs to be placed at the bottom of the layers menu and will leave the layer in normal mode by default. On top of this, I'm going to import the turtle sketch I already did in the first video for this series. I'm lowering the opacity of this layer and using the messy sketcher brush included with the epic pastels brush set, I'm going to redo my sketch so that it fits better with the pastel technique. I'm using blue for my sketch, because I will not get rid of it at any moment, so I want the color of the lines to work well with the rest of the painting. To take care of the background, I'm using the clean cut scatter brush to quickly add a variety of blue tones in the bottom of the canvas to make this sort of painterly gradient that goes from light at the top to darker at the bottom. I'm also using the same brush with the smudge tool to blend some of the strokes together. Now I'm using the selection tool to select the turtle while hiding the background layer so that I can see my sketch better. I'm filling this selection with a random color and hide the layer since I'm only going to use it to make quick selections of the turtle anytime I need. With the turtle selected, and using the soft pastel medium brush, I'm painting the main color spots inside the figure. I'm doing this on a layer below my sketch, so that I can still see the lines. You can also see how I'm taking a moment to import a pastel texture sheet, that will add a little bit of extra realism to my pastel painting. This texture needs to be placed on top of any painting layers, and it needs to be set to overlay mode. This stage is perfect to introduce many different colors that will make my painting look rich and interesting. Speaking of color, notice that I'm exclusively picking colors from the included pastel color palettes. Working with limited and specific colors is important when mimicking pastels in digital since in the real world you can only work with the pastel colors you own. Here I'm zooming in the turtle's head to paint this area more accurately. With the main colors in place, it's a good time to switch to the pastel pencil brush and be more precise when painting the details. Similarly to what I did in the watercolor version, I'm covering the legs with a few dark brown tones on a new layer. I'm 
and then using the Messy Sketcher with the Eraser tool, I'm erasing these lines to form these textures. By doing this, I'm revealing the colors underneath. Then with these two parts separated, I can adjust the colors below without affecting the texture on top. I'm taking some time now to figure out the colors and gradients in the belly area. At this point I thought the best way to paint the shell would be to use the selection tool to isolate the area and use the clean cut scatter brush to work the general colors and hue variations with the interesting brush work this brush can provide. Then I brought the sketch back so that I could paint the lines in the shell again in the right place. From here I'm detailing the shell further, making sure to define the edges where the shell meets the side of the belly. I'm also detailing the darker spots in the belly and continuing to define the legs and neck areas and just finishing up anything that I see needs some extra attention. And this is the final result. I really hope you liked this video. If you use my brushes and post your art on social media, feel free to use the hashtag Manero brushes so that I can see what you create. I will be extremely happy to share your creations with my audience. Don't forget to subscribe for more art related videos and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out my Gumroad page where you will find the fine art mega bundle for Procreate and many other sets and freebies that I have available. I'm sure something will suit your artistic needs. All the links are in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.